Hey everybody. Well, it's video number three. Might as well just tie this in with the Makuna when I just did. This is a video about ashwagandha, and this will be my personal experience with ashwagandha. I mean, I thought about making this video where I pulled out all the paper paperwork I have and all the research on cancer therapy, on well-being, anxiety, and uh, all the phenomenal things that people have reported and science has found about it, but what good would that do when any one of you could just go Google it? And I know it's nice to hear it from other people, but you only have so much time to talk about a thing, so I could just repeat stuff that other people say, or I could just give you my experience, and I'll give you my experience. I've been taking it on and off for about five months now. I ran out for a while, then I, I bought more stock because I wanted to sell it on my website. And I found out that, uh, you know, it's considered Indian ginseng is what it's called. And uh, there's also American ginseng, and uh, there's uh, Siberian ginseng, there's Korean ginseng. They're all different plants, but they're all basically just roots that provide energy and stamina, endurance, and give you a sense of well-being. Um, you know, people think ginseng is something you take to just get energy. It's more than that. It gives you a, a, a lift, you know, a sense of well-being. But all these herbs, things like maca root is very similar. It's also, uh, it's become very expensive, very trendy. Well, ashwagandha has remained relatively affordable. And I've been taking it for about the last two weeks in my smoothies now daily. And uh, after a break from taking it for a while. And I've confirmed that it indeed gives me a sense of... Uh, first off, it gives me a good night's sleep. I wake up well rested, but I don't wake up and have to grab my coffee and kind of mope around until my eyes open. I feel like I'm ready to go. Of course, everybody takes a minute to get up, but once I do get up, um, I feel good. I feel energized. I feel motivated to go do things. And here's the, and this is all, of course, just you know, I can only give you, you know, on and off the experiments I've done for a couple weeks at a time. Um, but I wanted to give the one main thing that I found that ashwagandha does, and this is something that I've read also uh, about it, but I've noticed it uh, severely. It, it disables your, your anxiety to the point where um, if you run into a conflict, you're much more likely to react calmly. I'll give you an example. If any of you are YouTubers and uh, regularly comment, you might uh, know what it's like to be looking through the comments and, and run across one where somebody's like, hey, fuck you, fuck, 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 you know, cussing at you and telling you you're a total piece of shit. Um, it may not make you angry, but you get that kind of uh, in your stomach like you want to, you know, pipe back. Um, while taking ashwagandha, I've noticed that goes away. I just kind of laugh at people and, and, and uh, have a different understanding of it. And, and I confirmed this yesterday when I was driving home from uh, town with my family and we were on the freeway and somebody just started swerving into my lane douchebag trying to get over and uh, almost hit me you know and I slam on my horn and whip around him and, and after that my, I was completely calm collected like usually when you're almost in an accident you know the feeling you get that jitters um, I was able to react decisively and then continue on my way with no negative feeling from it and, and I, I guess I can't really sit and explain all the different little moments I've had like that, but uh, put it this way, I have a three and a six year old. They scream and they fight and they cuss, and uh, it's easy to get upset when the kids are fighting amongst each other, with each other. And uh, as a parent, you have to remain calm and collected so you can properly deal with the situation. So ashwagandha seems to promote that, it seems to give that sense of well-being. And that's just one aspect of it, it seems to also have uh, apparently anti-cancer properties and I will try to post some links so people know where to look so hopefully uh, that's assisting in somebody's interest in personal experiences with it not just what they're saying because a lot of people talk about you know these herbs and how they cure and they do this and do that but how do they really feel when you're taking them do they give you you know, constipation? Do they make you feel anxious or too relaxed, you know, or sedated? And uh, ashwagandha seems to give you an all-day kind of energy boost without the side effects that come along with taking a lot of energy supplements, such as coffee. Um, and if you're looking for a caffeine substitute and you enjoy caffeine, try guarana or even Ilex guayusa. Guayusa is a tea from South America that has uh, it has the most caffeine, I guess, of any tea, but it's it's very subtle and it's released over time. 
They're not sure exactly how it works, but it seems to, it's the kind of tea people can drink before bed as well, but also to wake up. It promotes a restful sleep and uh, the natives would use it. It had lended a blue color to ayahuasca visions when they were taking ayahuasca. So, interesting. Um, so, hope that helps a few people. Take care.